ready for a workout class. It is literally freezing outside, so we're wearing my puffer coat. And I just got these new slippers from Okai. They're sponsoring it today's video. I'm gonna wear those and then I'll change when I get there. I can't really see the baby right now. Oh. what to eat before I go. I usually feel sick if I don't eat something in the morning. I've still been feeling so sick. 7.22, I think I need to leave at like 7.50. I think I'm gonna have some waffles. I've been eating so many waffles, so yesterday I bought the Costco pack. I was so excited to eat these because I was on a kick of trying to like swap out some things for like healthier options. Like we have this peanut butter that's like just peanuts and salt. I tried to switch out our syrup for like one that's not full of sugar. It just didn't hit the same. <laughs> I had been giving it to the girls like before I was on my waffle kick and I hadn't tasted it and I just assumed like it tasted fine. It wasn't bad, but it was not the same as this baby right here. We are back to Mrs. Butterworth's. It's so cold! Man, water. Man, water. That's it, I think. We haven't been here. We haven't water. been here in a while. We've been lazy girls. I think you just you put, put your, your card on, on your app. Oh. Oh. You gotta get these points, girl. Thank you. Hey! Why is yours bigger than mine? What's up? Oh. Uh, How's my van still on? I need to charge it. You guys Taking our kids trick or treating. We didn't get invited to any parties. <laughs> I don't think I've been invited to a Halloween party literally since seventh grade. Yes. I always say that was my best Halloween because that's when you I do met say that. My chance. Thank you. That was like my first boyfriend in seventh grade, aka the only boyfriend I ever had besides Parker. So I do hold on to him. Exactly. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Our workout class was good. I am now sweaty. I also think I was nervous because when I I was like sweating when we went in there, and my heart rate was right. up. You and were, I never you, when you were walking on the treadmill. I was like, was why like, are you in the blue? I don't know. But I was also like a little bit sweaty, but I hadn't done anything, so I feel like it was nervous sweaty. All right, start. Starbucks haul. I got the girls some cake pops, so I'll give that to them for a little afternoon snack. Lauren got a lemon loaf. The best. I got the plum, or no, what is this? I like the banana nut loaf. I also got this for an afternoon snack for me. And then I got Parker a sausage egg cheese sandwich. And then don't ask me why. I've been really thinking about this bacon sandwich. You guys know that I don't. You got that for <laughs> yourself? Thank you very much. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Well. <laughs> oh, I mm -hmm. thought you were getting that for Parker. Mom. Bacon girl. Mm -hmm. That one over your bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit no. at McDonald's? No, I haven't had that this pregnancy. Mm. That's usually my special my special thing. But I got part of one of these the other day and I took a bite and then ever since then I've been like, wait, I need to go get another one of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, I should have checked this. Okay. Probably eight out of ten times that I come here, they give me the wrong tea. What kind of tea? It's like what kind of tea do you get? Mint? This is the Mint Majesty. It is my favorite one. I get it with honey. But they give me one. I'm trying to think if it has the name Mint in it, but it's like a fruity one. Mm. So I don't know if they're like right by each other, but so often, like maybe half the time maybe that I come. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe you guys should put those boxes far away from each other. You should recommend that to them. I was going to, but then they gave me the right one. <laughs> Lauren got a pumpkin spice latte. I did. It's her first one of the season. It, it was, and it's kind of disappointing. It is. Yeah, it's not you should have had me add something good to it. Answer. More sugar or something. All right, well, good start to the morning. Okay, I got home and showered, and I have a doctor's appointment, actually. So I'm gonna go to that this afternoon, and Lauren's gonna come babysit so that Parker can go with me. I think my last appointment was probably like six weeks ago, so it's been a while, but it's like going by slow, and I feel like I'm never gonna actually have this baby, but then also it's like going by fast at the same time, even though I feel like... I've been pregnant forever and I still have literally so much longer to go. What, babe? The lotion. Here, do you want me to help you get the lotion? Yeah, here you go. Give me your hands. Your cheeks are a little dry. You put it on your cheeks. Here you go. I like them more. A little more? Okay. Put it on your cheeks because they were kind of dry. We just took away Lola's binky a few days ago. Maybe like 
has it been a week now she's sleeping good at night without it but only because she stopped taking a nap after we took it away and i don't know what to do and i'm trying to not share like too much about them as they get older but i need some tips or something because we cannot get rid of her nap time so i don't know she just like will not go to sleep or we've been offering like coated quiet time in her crib for a really long time before we transitioned to quiet time in the playroom like she would still sit in her crib with some toys and stuff and play for at least like an hour by herself and lola is just not into that and i don't know if it's because she knows cove is like out there lola was born when cove stopped taking naps but she was like a newborn baby so she didn't really have like the FOMO of missing out like I feel like Lola does now that Cove is obviously older. I don't know what to do but I've still been trying to offer the nap like every single day. It's been like a full week now so I don't know. <laughs> that feels like a long time. Anyways, Lauren's gonna come and babysit them during my appointment. I'm also wondering if my next appointment is gonna be my 20 week scan or if i'll have one in between that they have like a couple appointments pre-booked for me but the timing on them is super weird so i think when i go in today i'll try and like move those and make sure that everything just like makes sense like they have a random appointment for me like my next ones are like two weeks apart which is just weird like you don't start having two week apart appointments this early on i'm also switching to another new doctor i was seeing the midwives i told you guys in my last appointment that we went to like the first ultrasound one and they were like oh why did you choose to see the midwives this time and i was like oh because the doctor that i wanted like was booked just so i kind of not that i had no other choice i could have picked another doctor but this office didn't have any of the doctors listed on their website i feel like that made it confusing because i always like to look up the reviews of doctors like i don't randomly just want to pick one and i want a female doctor too anyways after that appointment we were they were like oh we can talk to that doctor and see if she will be able to take you you found candy how about we just have one piece do you want one of these you want a sucker but anyways, they ended up saying that that doctor can take me on. If you didn't know, I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but anytime one of my friends gets pregnant, I, this is like the first thing I tell them because I just like did not know. I don't know if it's all doctors or just some doctors, but they'll only take like a certain amount of deliveries per month. So sometimes I feel like people find out that they're pregnant and then they're like, oh, well, I can't go. Cause usually your first appointment is at like eight weeks. So if you find out at like four weeks, maybe you're like, oh, I'll like wait to book my appointment. But your doctor that you want to go to, might be booked out. Okay, OOTD. Before we leave for the doctor, I have on this sweater. It is still freezing outside. I've been saying for a while, like, oh, it's getting so cold. It is like January weather. It is so cold. I'm so confused. When I got out of the car this morning, I could literally like see my breath. So I probably will wear a coat over this, but for now I just have on this little comfy sweater. Also just have on some black leggings. I think for my appointment today, it's just like listening to the heartbeat and asking if I have any questions. Like it's gonna be pretty fast. So I don't know. We're just going for comfy vibes. And then I do have on the slippers I showed you guys earlier. These are from Olukai. These are the Gila Heyu slippers. I love this color too. They have like three different colors, I think. They're comfy. They're also very soft. These are made of a really soft shearling material. They're very durable. They also keep you super warm. You can wear them anywhere. I wore them to my workout class this morning. Um, Usually if I'm going to like Pilates or something, I always just have like a pair of slippers that I like to wear since you don't wear tennis shoes in there. You just wear socks. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wear these to my appointment because these pants that I'm wearing are flare pants So you can wear these with flare pants, but I feel like flare pants and socks and sandals I like tight pants and socks and sandals. So these are also from Olokai I might want to wear these because they're closed-toed, but they had a lot of different like slipper options So their website is gonna be linked down below and I have a special link for you guys. You guys can shop these slippers They also have some like normal shoes that are not slippers. So I'll show you guys what I got for Parker but I also like these because the sole is is it's not like way high i'm not really a platform girl it's not super thin so i feel like i can still wear these when it's like raining i just recently got these so parkers are still in the box i got him two pairs a pair of slippers too that are like soft and comfy on the inside just like cute simple white tennis shoes i feel like that is a shoe he should be wearing with like every outfit it literally just goes with everything again the link is down below if you guys want to shop oh i actually have another package that i want to open go get it before we leave okay so i have this package that i want to open we're kind of doing a little bit of i don't know if i would call it renovations but i actually did contact dwellify who is the company that did our basement they finished it and they were awesome to work with and i've been wanting to change up a few things in our kitchen and our bathrooms the countertops that we have are like 
dark plain white and obviously I love white I feel like white is just the best I love like a very white home but I wish our countertops had like some kind of texture they literally have nothing they're like so 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 plain and I love a white kitchen but I wanted to switch our countertops out forever I wanted to look into getting new like kitchen hardware kind of just changing up the vibe of the kitchen and redecorating like a little bit because for the most part most of our stuff and like our decor has been the same for quite a while now like we initially got our house decorated professionally like over four years now i think like four years ago almost so we're switching up a couple things i also want to change the countertops in our bathrooms because i'm like 99 sure that we did not even pick out the countertops that we have they're also super white i don't know what the material is but it's where the countertop is like connected to the sink so we for sure didn't get the right countertop remember we have vlog called? footage we have footage of us picking out the countertops for this house and they were different in the video of a vlog and then you hmm. could find it. It was wrong. Do you know what that is called though? Is it linoleum or am I just making that up? It's not really Might be that. I have no idea. It's like what like an old person would it's have like in their house, the, like an the, older the material. The sink is part of the counter. Hi. It's like that, you know, where it's Hi. like all... Yeah, if you guys remember that vlog, if you've been watching for that long, which was like over five years ago now, actually maybe like six years ago when we were actually designing this house, we went to our design meeting and I really wanted the exterior of our house to be a certain color and we started talking about like a few decisions for things and then we got to the exterior, like we picked out our wood floor and stuff like that and then when it got to the exterior, we like weren't done picking out everything else but they were like, oh, we don't think you can do that color and I was like, why not? Like I'm not gonna pay for this house. if we don't even get to do the color that we want like that's a really big decision i would rather look into other options blah 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 so basically our design meeting got cut short and obviously we love our house we're like very grateful to have this home five years later there are a few things we would like to change so i reached out to dwellify we're supposed to have a meeting soon i already had my first meeting with them so we'll have another meeting probably soon to like actually pick out design stuff so it's not a ton of like huge changes but i really do feel like changing up the countertops and the hardware and then just switching out a couple decor things can make a huge difference especially in the bathrooms because that material just makes everything look so cheap. <laughs> I also am changing one of the rooms upstairs. I got a bigger bed and then I got this bedding. I have had this bedding on my vision board basically for this bedroom for probably years now because as you guys know we were building another house. Decided mm, we'd rather sell it so we sold that house. This was like the inspo for the room that I was going to design there for one of the girls. So I've had this specific bedding in this specific color like on my mind forever and I hadn't actually looked into getting it I just had like seen a picture of it and was like okay I'm gonna do that when I saw the price of how expensive this was especially for like a child's room I was like oh my gosh I am not gonna pay for that but then I kind of was like looking at it and I was trying to find something similar and then I went back on the website and it was on sale for Black Friday I did get a discount it was still super expensive but I'm gonna open it and if it is not like absolutely perfect I think I'm gonna have to return it because it's really nice it's linen so it's like a good nice material well made but wait but it might be perfect oh my gosh i'm obsessed obviously it is pink i got four pillowcases i think in the next vlog we'll show you guys kind of decorating that room i'm still waiting for a couple of things to come we have the mattress i have like part of the bed frame got a new dresser and what else i don't know we're still like waiting on stuff basically i need to get some prints and stuff like that but i got a duvet cover i also have just like some white sheets but i bought the sheets of this color too because in my inspo photo it has the same color sheet sheets in the same color like pillows and duvet cover and everything it's all just like one tone which i think is so cute so i wasn't gonna buy the sheets because i have some other white ones but then since they were on sale i was like what if i change my mind later and i want the sheets and then they're not on sale anymore so i figured again i can return stuff if like i'm feeling like it's not worth it but this was a splurge for sure i got sheet set duvet set okay i think we might be keeping it <laughs> i need to like put it on the bed and everything once we get it all together but i'm obsessed it's like the perfect shade of pink i also wish it was my bed size it's a queen i got a full for that room up there and then once we like got everything together i was like wait that feels so small so i switched everything out for a queen i feel a lot better about it it just like fits the space better and obviously a bigger bed is just like nicer i also finished is someone calling me hello <laughs> Starbucks. I actually just went to the chiropractor. It's the next day. It's actually Halloween, so we had a fun little morning with the girls. They were out of my sandwich that I 
caught literally yesterday. Today we got egg white bites. I got another cake pop for Ko because he didn't end up eating hers yesterday and then I saw Lola eating it before I left. And then this is a different bacon sandwich. I got this for me and for Parker. No cheese. Is that cheese? I guess there's a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. I also got the same drink as yesterday. I Majesty tea. I'm also starving. It's like 1 p.m. Mm. Tonight, Parker's sister and her husband and their girls are coming over and we're going to, I think I'm gonna make chili and corn chowder. I have stuff for caramel apples and we have rolls. So we're gonna eat that for dinner and then the girls will go trick or treating, which will be super fun. But I also wanted to do a little pregnancy update since I didn't really film after my appointment yesterday, but the appointment was good. It was actually kind of stressful because it took like forever to find the baby's heartbeat. I also am glad that I saw this new doctor. I think I said yesterday I was switching to like another new doctor because the midwives were like, oh, we can see if she can get you in and she could. So I did really like the midwives, but um, I only saw one of them. The appointment yesterday was good with the doctor, so I feel good about switching. But she was trying to find the heartbeat at the end and Parker was like talking about something. And so I was like not really paying attention to where she was putting the little Doppler thing and it was a little bit high. I think everyone's baby must be just like a little bit different, but my baby's pretty low. So it was like taking her a few minutes and Parker was like talking Talking and I just like was not even paying attention to what he was saying and then I was like why is she not like finding the heartbeat what the heck she moved it down a little bit lower and found it and everything was fine but it's definitely very stressful I'm just glad that baby sounded good they're supposed to call me soon about scheduling my 20 week scan so that'll be crazy to do that already it's not gonna be for like a couple weeks but yeah being pregnant is just so weird because it just like feels like the baby's never gonna come <laughs> like it feels so far away I feel like nobody else ever like says this maybe it's just me but whenever I'm pregnant I'm like who is this baby you're just growing someone that you don't know them obviously you still like love them but it's just like a stranger in your body but then they're born and then as they grow up they're just literally like you're soulmate i feel like i've also had a lot more depression this pregnancy i feel like i didn't really have that i definitely did not have that with co and i don't really feel like i did have that with lola because i just kept thinking like everything was gonna get better because my first pregnancy was so easy so the second one being really hard just kind of like didn't shock me because i know every pregnancy is different but going into this third pregnancy knowing like how hard it can actually be i just assumed that the more you have like the harder the pregnancy is just gearing up to like get pregnant again and knowing what i was about to put myself through even though Obviously, it's like the biggest miracle ever. And I'm so grateful to be able to be pregnant again. But it just is like a lot to go through. And especially because I haven't been feeling any better at all. I definitely am not in like the best headspace and the best mood. My doctor did say, she's like, if you're feeling really sick, we can do like Zofran or something. Like you can be prescribed things for nausea. But it's like not even exactly being nauseous. Like I am and I do feel like I could puke, but it's different than it was like earlier on in my pregnancy. Like I mostly just feel so icky, like basically all the time. And I have probably said in like every video that I don't feel good and that i have not been sleeping last night i literally did not sleep at all i was awake for so long and then i finally was like hey i need to see what time it is because it's gotta be maybe like 6 45 7 like maybe a time to get up it was like 5 7 in the morning like it was so early so i've been up forever i actually got up and edited this video because since it's halloween i didn't want to be like working a lot when i could be doing stuff with the girls i don't know i just keep thinking that it's gonna get better but my energy has not come back i'm like into my second trimester now and i feel like the energy is just not going to come back at all so it's hard to like not be depressed thinking am i gonna feel this way for so many more months and then like after you have the baby i'm so excited for the second that the baby is out and i'm like not pregnant anymore i feel like that will be a very nice moment but then even just like recovering from postpartum and everything is also a lot so it just feels like a long time before i'm gonna feel normal again i'm also pregnant at a different time of year than i usually am i usually have gotten pregnant in like december or january so you kind of go through the winter being a little bit sick and then it's like springtime and you're feeling better and it's like warm outside and it's nice and then i had the girls in august and september and i really liked that timing a lot but i felt like the three-year age gap if i was to get pregnant i felt like two years was too close and i felt like three years was like a little bit too far so i didn't want to wait to get pregnant at the end of the year i kind of wanted to just like get it over with so we're on a different pregnancy timeline this time which it's like we've kind of gone through the hard part of like the first trimester and then now it's going into winter which i already get depressed about but people swear that this is like the best time to get pregnant and have a baby have a baby in the springtime they say it's the best timeline i still stand by my timeline of getting pregnant in the winter and having the baby in the summer not that you can even like exactly plan or choose or whatever but so far i would say that i like the other timeline a little bit better maybe because i'm just like used to that we'll see how i feel when the baby comes and it's springtime and getting warm outside i don't have to worry about as many like sicknesses and stuff i don't know 
It just literally feels like I'm in a weird parallel universe or something. Like, I don't even know. And it's so weird that it's like, with the fact that my body is doing all the work to make a human without me saying, hey, today we're working on the eyes. Today we're working on the bones. It just like happens inside your body, which thank goodness, because I already have enough on my plate. <laughs> I don't have the brain space to be thinking about what I need to be doing to grow my baby. So thank goodness that my body just does it. It's just so crazy to be pregnant again and just like seeing the girls play together and they're like best friends and then thinking, who is this other baby? Who is this baby going to be? And I know this baby will also be their best friend, but it's just weird. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna go home. If anyone has any tips for me about keeping your toddler napping after you've taken away their binky, please let me know. Lola just turned two in September, so I feel like she's still very young to not be napping. But Cove also stopped napping at pretty much like the same age. And I just feel like that's really early. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to check out olakai.com if you guys wanna shop cute slippers and shoes. That is all for today. Hope you guys have a good Halloween. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.